and thank you for joining us today. All right, um, let's get started. It's already past 6.30 and we have a lot to discuss. So let's get started with today's session, which is careers in image and soft skills training. As I said, we will be talking about a lot about this career. I'll be sharing my first-hand experience of over a decade in this industry. Um, so if there are any questions that you have with regards to how to go about it, what are the different, you know, um, uh, different kind of maybe questions, challenges, doubts, confusions that you have, this you can ask me directly, and I'll be happy to answer them. Use the chat options. We'll be having a little quiz also in between, so you can give in your answers over there. Okay, so let's get started. So before I get into the aspects of career in image and soft skills, allow me to introduce to uh, you to my organization, Indian School of Image Management. Uh, to give you a brief history about ourselves, we are India's only institute which is providing internationally recognized and CEO approved programs by Association of Image Consultant International. We are also, our program is also um, in affiliation with International Image Institute Canada. Um, the program is actually well, most holistic if we have to talk about it. The programs that we offer is something where we look at the holistic education of image and soft skills. And um, the idea is to provide you not only just the right knowledge, but also the right skills, like right experience and technical tools that you would be requiring to start off your career. Um, we do provide um, programs which are professional certificate programs online and offsite um, on the site as well and uh, executive programs which are 100% online. So those are few programs about us. Today, we'll be talking about a professional certification program. We are headquartered in Mumbai, but we have campus in New Delhi, Bangalore, and in Mauritius. And our alumni base is scattered all over the world. We have alumni from more than 15 to 16 countries. And um, yeah, they are in every part, every continent in the world. So that's a little bit about Indian School of Image Management, about our accreditation and awards. Um, Okay, is it for only Mira? Can others hear my hear me? Okay. Um. Can I get if you if you can hear me, just give me a thumbs up or just say yes in the chat. Okay. So Mira, maybe uh, it could be a speaker problem at your end. Can you just please check? It could be the volume or the speaker at your end. <clears throat> Yes, Kanchan is giving an advice to join via audio. So that would help for sure. Okay. All right. So let me continue with our accreditations and awards. So we were very proudly, we were honored to be awarded as the Excellent Vocational Training Institute at the Sixth International Education Excellence Award in 2020. This award was presented by Dr. Anil Sesabudde, who is the chairman of AICTE. And uh, Dr. Malcolm Johnson, who's the Deputy G uh, Secretary General of ITU, International Telecommunication Union. ITU is a unit of United Nation, and this award was also by the Ministry of Human Resource and Development, Government of India. So um, we were very honored to have received this particular award in the year 2020. Uh, more about us, about our accreditation, we are accredited by uh, AICI. So AICI is the world's leading and largest professional body, which actually has members from all around the world. They also give accreditation and CEU, and they provide CEUs or accredited institutes to provide CEU education, image consulting education and soft skills education to institutes around the world. So in India, we are proudly the number one and the first one to have received this accreditation. Um, so that's about our accreditation also. Uh, also a little bit about me, I'm the founder of Indian School of Image Management. I have over 14 plus years of vast experience in image consulting, soft skills, personal branding, coaching, training, as well as uh, working with a lot of companies for training purposes for workshop as well as a lot of C-suit executives, entrepreneurs, politicians have been my one-on-one -on -one clients. I have um, also started in the year 2010, I've started my um, company, B. Posh Image Consultants. That was one of the first few companies in India to have provided the personal uh, coaching and training in image consulting. 
I have trained in over nine countries all around the world. I'm currently the general secretary of AICI. I'm also the first Indian to have received the Emmy Award. And yes, I'm also the first internationally certified image professional in the country. So uh, that's a little bit about me. Um, yes, and we can talk more about my experience and everything as we go on in the program as well. So today in the next 60 minutes, what we are going to be learning is, and we will also have some time devoted to question and answers. So what are we going to be covering today? We will talk about the career opportunities that are available in the image and soft skills industry, how you can start your career, how you can expand on it, what are the different opportunities that are lying up there and you can capture it. You can actually start working in it. We'll talk about it. What is the process to actually become an image consultant or a soft skills trainer or both? How do you find your correct combination? How do you go about it? What is the combination? Should you be looking at image consulting? Should you be looking at soft skills or would you be looking at both? How and where to start the journey? What is your place where you can look at starting your journey? And a few insights from others' journey as well, like looking at some success stories of our alumni and people who have done this program and what are they saying about uh, the industry as well as the program. So let's get started. And before I start, I want to ask you all a little, a short question. And if you can use the chat box, all of you to answer this question. I want to understand from all the people who are here attending this webinar, what motivates you to start a career in image and soft skills industry? What is your personal motivation to start a career in image and soft skills industry? And if you have not yet made a decision of starting your career, at least what got you excited about this industry? What is that one thing that you find best fascinating about it? So if you can just use the chat box and answer maybe in one word, one line, feel free to give in your answers. Again, the question is, what motivates you or what excites you about starting a career in image and soft skills industry? So feel free to use the chat box and I'm looking forward to your answers. Everyone. Okay, so I got one, um, which is working with people. Um, yes, that's okay. That's a very good, yes, motivation because um, you get to work with people, you make get to make a difference in people's lives. And it's, it's at the end of the day, a very satisfactory feeling when you see you know, uh, that you have made a positive change in people's lives. So definitely, uh, number one, that's my personal reason. Um, Neha saying soft skills training to hone mine as well as other skills, of course. Um, one of the good advantages that happens is that over the period of time in this industry, you enhance yourself as a person. Uh, you add a lot of value to your own life. And that is absolutely amazing. Appear more charming and presentable, absolutely. That's, uh, again, self-implementation and improving your own self to appear more charming, presentable. It opens doors for you. It actually helps you to get a lot of things going in your favor. So that's, again, a very good plus and a good motivation. Uh, Saurabh says, I like to train people. Of course, that's, a, <laughs> um, again, something similar to working with people, training people to achieve more, to add value. So wonderful. Kanchan says, bring a change. Yes, a, a positive change. Eventually, you make a difference in the in one person's overall, if you have to say, in overall people's life and the world um, by working with one person at a time. So definitely, we do make a dent in the universe and bring a positive change. So that's, again, a good motivation. Akansha, I think there's a major need for everyone to be their best version. And through this, I wish to reach out to people in performing to their best potential. That's so beautiful. Yes, Akansha, um, image and soft skills industry. I keep saying to people that we are the people who add value in others' life. We um, make people help achieve their highest potential and what's more possible for them. So yes, and that is done by uh, highlighting what's working for them, what are their strengths and making their best version. So beautifully written. And I think you summarized all the other qualities and reasons as well. So thank you. And others also, please feel free to write down what are your personal motivations? What motivates you to start a career in image and soft skills industry? 
And I will talk about it that why I'm asking you for your motivation, because we are going to be talking about your personal motivation a little bit later in this uh, webinar. So remember your motivation. And if you have not given the answer, um, still, I'm sure you know it, that what is exciting you to be here to know more about this. OK, so let's get started. Um, before I again get started, I want to ask you all, maybe let's do a small activity. And on your screen, you will see an image. And uh, what you need to do is, again, use the chat option and look at the image and tell me what makes this laptop awesome. Like according to you, if you have a look at this laptop, what is making this laptop an awesome one? So please feel free to give in your answers that why um, one of the best laptops or sought after brands in the world, what makes this laptop an awesome one? So all of you see a image on your screen and this is of a laptop. After having a look at it, feel free to write in the chat box what according to you makes the laptop, uh, you know, an awesome one. Security features, I'm getting some answers. Sleek, portable, of course, sleek. So Neha says sleek and portable. Jyoti says sleek. Security features, Kanchan says the image, of course. Uh, Manisha says it's mind share, okay. Akansha, it's beauty mostly the way they have presented it. Yes. Saurabh, top brand. Yes. Portability and specifications, of course. Uh, Dr. Sangeeta, it's features and sleek look. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Shabnam says, again, it's the brand. Um, wonderful. Uh, any more answers? Anyone else wants to add something that what is making this laptop an awesome one? It adds value to person's image. Of course, of course, it does. Just one laptop and so many different features that you all are talking about. Features, specification, brand, image, portability, and, you know, uh, beauty, aesthetics. <laughs> okay, no problem, Neha. But yes, uh, we are just in general asking that why, what are the different reasons that what could be the most, you know, amazing um, why it's one of the most uh, sought after brand in the world. So whatever comes into your mind that could be because of one or the other reasons. But I totally understand, of course, you'll have more reasons then to share. Okay, so if I have to combine all the answers that you just gave me, all of you, the different, different answers that you gave me, I can actually combine it together and put it into simple two buckets. And those two buckets, if I have to talk about is that you either talked about how the laptop actually looked or was from a um, you know outer perspective like the aesthetics of it or the different parts of it that you could use and then you all talked about the internal features of it the machine or the system that is there inside okay so if i have to simply put that into process it's basically divided into two categories all the best features that you talked about are different uh, designed in two categories or divided into two categories. One is your hardware and one is your software. Why this laptop is, a, is an awesome one? Because it's a perfect combination of a good hardware as well, a, as well as a good software. It has a good hardware features also and a very good software features also. If I have to talk about it, portability would go into the hardware. It's sleek, it's small, it's easy to pick up. The security and the specifications would go into the uh, software thing. The sleek look again is in the hardware. And the brand is a combination of all the different things, the advertising, the tagline, the perception that people form. And that would be a combination of both. Now, if I have to ask you one more extra question and you can give me an answer in a simple yes or no. Have If I say that if I remove all the specification and the features of this particular laptop, and I just give you the sleek laptop, but the specifications and the software of it is like something which is a little outdated, maybe a couple of years old, would you say that this is an still an awesome laptop? Okay, I got a very clear no from Yash immediately, and Kanchan also said a clear no, others. If I say that it's a very sleek, okay, Dr. Sangeeta also says a clear no. So I'm getting, a, as of now, a lot of no's. Okay, my second question to you is that if I put in all the features in it, 
all the uh, sorry specifications and the features that are there in it the security features and the software is fantastic but from the look purpose it's very heavy it's bulky it's not portable it does not have the sleek look and everything else would you still call it an awesome laptop okay so i got another no from dr sangeeta what else uh, others okay kanchan also says no others let's hear from others also depends honestly okay all right well that's true what else we are talking about it making it awesome like would you call it an awesome one if it is not portable if it is something which has all the best features in the world but it's not sleek it doesn't look that great so yeah would it still be in the most awesome category <laughs> i mean उट so that we can go on without interruptions i thought that was an answer <laughs> that will will that uh, laptop be awesome or not okay so continuing where we were what makes this laptop an awesome one no so if i remove one of the things either if i remove the hardware or compromise on the hardware or compromise on the software you would not call this laptop an awesome one you will call it a good laptop maybe an average laptop but not an awesome one you would still look out for another option so why we are talking about it is that the perfect laptop or the to make it an awesome one it's a combination of the external and the internal that's what makes it awesome and if i take the same analogy over here and actually apply it on people also for people as well it's the combination of your external as well as your internal the internal identity who you are as a person so if i have to talk about your internal identity we are talking about your education we are talking about your skills we are talking about your knowledge your work experience your life experience and if i have to talk about your external i'm talking about clothing your body language your presence your persona your height weight your physical characteristics the way that you carry yourself and your communication that is your external identity the combination of your external and internal identity combined together is the formula for success is that what makes a difference and actually makes a person most successful one if i say that if i you know you have to for example let's take another scenario and let me run this and you can again uh, give your answers in the chat box if i run another scenario for all of you and i say that you are a ceo of ceo of your company and you have to hire a person for as an employee and if i give you a person who has a very good external identity great communication skills great uh, presentation overall in terms of you know how they carry themselves their clothing their grooming but they do not have a very good work experience or they do not have the right knowledge would you be really keen on hiring that particular person anyone we can train them yes but if you have to have to put in extra effort in training them that's correct but uh, would you be very happy can be compromise of course would that be an awesome or the most obvious answer that you would be like okay if there are other opportunities or other people who are available out there who would be having a combination of your external identity and your internal would you okay so i'm getting a mix of yes and no and can train them of course let's say if you have a very good internal identity okay the person is really really skilled very knowledgeable has all the qualities that you need from a technical perspective but cannot communicate the ideas cannot present those ideas cannot even talk about uh, those ideas very well in a team in a forum or in front of the client does not have a very good uh, presentation skills would you be considering that person again hire, yes hiring them and training and investing money into training them is one of the options but if you don't have that much of capacity to train and you have to get the perfect resource would you hire the person okay 
Yeah. So if you if you have to look at the perfect opportunity or you are looking for that one perfect person, it has to be a good combination of an external and an internal identity. Having just one of them and compromising on other does not really do the job because you are basically only capitalizing or you're only looking into the 50 percent of your highest potential. So what I'm trying to arrive is that success is not just that you are really good in your internal identity and you will be able to achieve success because you have to present your internal identity to your external. And similar is the case with your external identity that it's not just about what you showcase on the outside. It's also about what you know, what knowledge you have, what skill set you have, what value you bring to the table. And the most of the time when we have and as per the research, what we have looked at, people are actually and the companies are actually looking out for people who are maybe average in external identity and internal identity combined together. They prefer to hire those people who have averages of both versus someone who is really good in just internal or just really good in the external. Everyone is looking for the perfect balance. And that's what makes a person successful because yes at the end of the day both of the identities can be trained and can be improvised further so the conclusion of this little activity and this question answer round is that your success mantra is your hard skills and your soft skills combined together when you invest into your hard skills and your soft skills equally when you have how you know really count on it on an equal amount when you work on them on an equal basis that's what makes a person successful, not just concentrating very hard on just the soft skills and not looking at hard skills or not just concentrating on just hard skill and not the soft skills part. So this is where we come into the picture. Now, again, if you look at the education system, our education system is fantastic. One of the top notch doctors, engineers and, you know, IT professionals of the of the world are coming out of India. So, yes. Our hard skills are absolutely top notch, but what we are all lacking is or somewhere we don't really put a lot of attention to is towards the soft skills. And I'm not just talking about India. I have some facts to show you over here. Of what is the need of image and soft skills in the world currently? So here in front of you is the latest report from the Future of Work 2021. This was a survey done amongst 9,100 recruiters. And these recruiters are from various countries around the world, from US and Canada, India as well, Germany, Netherlands, Italy, Sweden, Australia, and a lot of different countries were, you know, recruiters from the countries were surveyed. And what actually came out, and they asked that, what is the most wanted soft skills? And then they said, dependability, teamwork, collaboration, problem solving, and flexibility. These are one of the most wanted soft skills. The three soft skills employers have the most trouble finding. So a lot of people also say that, you know, it's also, it's easy to find the right in terms of the hard skills. Okay, um, can I request everyone to put themselves on mute, please? Thank you. All right. So it's very easy for you to put yourself, um, you know, uh, find the right person in a particular hard skill or the technical skill. But some skills that are very difficult in finding is critical thinking, communication and creativity. And this is, again, global survey results. If I have to talk about more that um, this is, again, a statement by James Picano, a NASA psychologist, and he said that 18,353 people applied to be NASA's newest astronaut. Only 11 made the cut who had exceptional soft skills. So your resume, your degree and experience are only part of the formula required to success, succeed. But yes, what makes the cut is the soft skills. Okay, let's see a little bit more of these. The at-home ground, if I, we are talking about India, the National Education Policy of 2020, which is approved by the government of India, also is now focusing more on the skill development and restructuring of our educational ecosystem where there will be more attention given to the employment of the future generation. And that requires a lot of vocational training and soft skills training. 
few more numbers that I have to share with you. 280,000 schools and 40,000 colleges and higher education institute have to dispense soft skills and vocational training over the next two years. And trust me, there are not that many number of image consultants and soft skills trainer in the country who could actually attain that number in the next two years. Even if it will be done, it will not be effective. So to efficiently and effectively dispense this number of training, we are talking about 2,80,000 schools. That means if we take an average of 400, 500, we are talking about students in the numbers of crores and crores, right? So to dispense that much level of education in the country, we need that much of manpower. And that's the need of soft skills in India. 125 million students for soft skills, the new education policy aimed to train over 125 million students each year. Again, so that's the need that we are looking at and that many number of trainers to train at least 125 students per year. Uh, this is also in a statement by... Um, which was made by our Prime Minister Narin Modi. And he said that this was during a session, interaction by Niti Ayoga webinar was organized. And he said that if we start training teachers and nurses on languages and on soft skills, it will help them in getting more opportunities and make them more employed, give them more employment opportunities in the global market. So that is where we are looking at, where we are sitting today, according to the need um, what is the need of image and soft skills? So that's your opportunity. Let's talk about what is the opportunity, why and how you can actually get into the image and start your career in the image management um, field. So let's talk about, first of all, what is image management? In a very simple, short ways or short form, if I have to talk about image management, an image management or an image consultant is a professional that masters or that is an expert in the area of ABC of image. If I have to talk about ABC, A stands for appearance, B is for behavior, and C is for your communication skills. So a person who is an expert in the A, B, C of image consulting, that person is called an image consultant. And the person manages the ABC of image is called image management. The process is called image management. Usually this person works with individual and with groups as a one-on-one -on -one coach or consultant or a trainer. They provide one-on-one -on -one consultations or trainings and workshop to people, to companies, to institution to help manage and enhance a person's personal image and overall the employee's image of a company. The professional's earning potential is similar to a lawyer or an architect. So it's very similar to a lawyer. That means your income potential keeps increasing as you add number of years to your overall experience. Okay, so that is about image management or an image consultant, the opportunity or the career of an image consultant. If I have to now talk about the soft skills training industry. Anyone who wants to start their career in soft skills training. So let's see who's a professional or who's, who's a soft skills trainer. A soft skills trainer is a professional who's an expert in the domain of softer, the social skills or the life skills, which can be interpersonal skills, communication, behavioral, your internal management skills and your corporate soft skills. So we are talking about team building. We are talking about EQ, time management, anger management. We are talking about work-life balance, conflict resolution, civility, etiquette, interpersonal skills, all the social and the life skills aspect. That is what a soft skills trainer is an expert in. Usually a soft skills trainer work with groups and train large number of people all together through workshops and training. Having said that, a soft skills trainer can also coach an individual or consult an individual on one on one basis to help them improve their own social or life skills or soft skills. Again, these professionals can work independently or can also be employed by companies as a full time soft skills trainer within the company. Usually they work as the learning and development professional in the company that they get hired. And I'll talk about a few companies that are hiring the um, you know people on a full-time basis as a soft skills trainer. So here are a few examples. If I have to talk about opportunities, we are looking at, as I said, soft, soft skills trainers are usually hired or image consultants are usually hired in the learning and development department, which comes under the human resources department of any company. So if I have to share with you 
the average salary or the income potential of these people, we are looking at an average salary of 14 lakhs, which is the average base pay. And this is the data that has been derived from the publicly available numbers of different companies like Accenture and Cognizant, Deloitte, Amazon. The average salary of a soft skills trainer in the country is 13 lakhs. And again, this number is from publicly available data that is from Baiju's and Deloitte and the employees working in TCS and ENY and other companies. Average number of job openings that are there as of 30th April 2021 is average number of job opening for soft skills trainer is 11,000. That is the past last year's number, but 11,000 job openings were there as of last year for soft skills trainers in the country. The salary range mostly from 6 lakhs to all the way to 25 lakhs. And again, as I said, the income potential is like a lawyer or an architect. The more number of years and credibility that you add to your profile, the higher your income potential is. So this is to give you an overall view of how the industry looks like, what is the potential, how do you work, and how do you go about it in terms of how much you can be expecting in terms of salary and income. A few more numbers if I have to share. Average number corporate and SMEs looking for image and soft skills trainer in India are 23,000. Average number of education institutes looking for soft skills trainer and image consultant in India is 2.1 lakh, 2 lakh 10,000. Average earning of one day image and soft skills training in India, one day training. If you, if you go out and work as an image consultant or a soft skills trainer, the average earning is 13,000, which is your average base pay. Average annual earning of image and soft skills business in India is 10 lakh. And again, it again depends upon how much experience, credibility that you bring to the table. So there is a lot of opportunity out there. And again, the growth projections that I have to show, the numbers that I showed you in terms of the requirement that the just the country India has is huge and humongous. And people need people like you who are passionate about making the country needs and everyone globally needs people like you who are passionate about making a difference in people's life. So how do you get started? Now, when I asked you all that, you know, what is your motivation? So I'm going to be now talking about what is the process to get started your career in the image and soft skills training. And the question that I asked you is, what is your motivation? What motivates you to start uh, your career in this industry? So the number one stage of this process to begin your career is to find your direction, your area, identify what is your interest, what drives you, what, is, what are you very passionate about, what is really the reason that you are here and you want to basically start your career in this particular field. Knowing your interest, knowing your direction is very important because that will guide you to the next steps. So all of you who gave me an answer to basically improve themselves and in turn in, uh, improving others, you also want to train people, you want to make a difference in people's life, you want to help them achieve their highest potential, you know already your direction. And keeping that direction is very important because that direction is going to lead you to your ultimate goal. So step number one is to find out or identify your direction, which congratulations to all of you, you already have identified. OK, now moving on to the stage number two, once you have identified your direction and you want to start a career, the second step is the education. Anytime, think about it. Anytime you want to start a career in something, you want to get started as a launch your career. The number one thing to launch your career is to get the right knowledge. It's like any other career if I have to talk about it's simply that how you basically start your career in any other field, be it engineering or be it law or you want to become a lawyer, you have to study law. If you want to become an engineer, you have to study engineering. If you want to become a doctor, you have to study medical. Similarly, if you want to become an image consultant and a soft skills trainer, the number one step or second step is education. And education, not just Basically, you know, um, just getting any kind of education, it's getting the right form of education. I will talk about what do I mean by right form of education uh, in just short while. OK, so that's your step number two. Now talking about step number three, what comes after education? The step number three is your experience experience when you apply all the knowledge that you have learned in your education in the real world. 
you apply it on people you see that yes you know what you are talking about you know what you have learned concept wise and now you're ready to apply that knowledge on people and you can really make a difference in people's life right so that's your step number three then comes the step number four, which is to create a brand for yourself. Now you have the right knowledge, you know your interest and your direction, that you want to work towards the um, direction of helping people in, achieve their highest potential. You have received your perfect knowledge or the right education. You have now worked with people and gathered the right experience also. Now is the time for you to create your brand and utilize that brand and do the brand building so that more and more people come to know about you. So personal branding is your stage number four. After that comes the industry recognition. Once you create a brand for yourself, more and more people start coming to know you. You build credibility for yourself. People start knowing you from word of mouth. People start giving you references of clients and you start working with clients because of word of mouth and references. You achieve more certification. You actually add to the overall industry and that brings the industry recognition where you are seen as a leader in your industry. Okay, so that's your stage number five, which is industry recognition. And the moment you become recognized in the industry, you start inspiring other people. You become that public figure, that person who basically motivates other people and become an inspiration for them. And that is how you know that now you have reached that level of success where other people are really, you know, they look up to you, they um, admire you, they are the people who want to be like you. So these are the six steps overall to become a successful image and soft skills trainer. What I'll be doing now is I'll be going into each one of these steps one by one, especially the education experience part where we come into the picture and I was talking about right form of education. At any given point of time, wherever you feel that you have a certain question, feel free to ask me or just drop it in the chat right now you um you can i will be taking all the questions towards the end but right now while we are talking about a certain point and a question clicks in your mind feel free to write down the question in the chat box and i can answer those questions for you towards the end okay so shall we continue with the process and understanding the process a little bit more in depth yes give me a thumbs up if everyone is ready with that Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. We have got thank you. Thank you so much. Let's start. So where to start? Now, the number one stage we said, build your foundation with the right knowledge. It's very important. As I said, just like any other career, the number one stage is to know or gather, gather the right form of education, get the right knowledge. So what do I mean by right knowledge? The right knowledge is where you get the combination of everything, which is your knowledge, your skills and your abilities combined together. Now, before I go into the right form of education and what are the different areas that are combined together? First thing is that you find your combination. What are you most interested in? So let's talk about option number A. Option A could be that you are interested in soft skills. So we talked about the soft skills profession. Okay. So we talked about soft skills profession where we said that a soft skills person is someone who work on the behavioral and the communication and the interpersonal side of um, people, which is your social skills or your people skill. OK, so option A is soft skills. OK, so you would like to start your career or are very keen on basically looking at soft skills. So all the people who are interested in A, can you write down A in the chat box right now? Anyone who wants to start their career in soft skills, you can write down A, that yes, I am more interested in the behavioral or the soft skills aspect of um, the whole uh, image and soft skills career. Okay, so Saurabh says A. Uh, Shabnam also said A. Okay, so let's hear for the other side. Now, the other option that you can have is also the image management. So option B is where you work on the A, B, C of image, which is your appearance, where we talked about clothing, grooming, body language, how you present yourself, how you carry yourself, your external identity. OK, so that comes in the option number B, which is image management. So all of you who are interested in B. Can you just um, write down B in the chat? 
So again, a professional who works with individual or with companies, and you are looking at working towards the appearance part. When I say appearance, clothing, grooming, accessories, we are talking about body language. We are talking also about communication skills and etiquette, business etiquette. Okay, so I've got a couple of B's over here. Pragya and Manisha says B. Okay, and the third combination, which is the combination number C, could be that you want to be the master of both image management and soft skills, right? So you want to have a combined knowledge of all the areas in depth where you are looking at the holistic approach of the image and soft skills industry, okay? So anyone who's interested in the combination of A, B, and C, please feel free to write C in the chat. So you are who are looking at the combination of image management and soft skills. So Dr. Sangeeta said C, Kanchan is saying C. Can I hear more other people? Where are you right now? Or if you are, Raki says C, okay. Meera also says C, wonderful. And if you don't know what fits you as per your profile and what is would be the correct approach, you can always reach out to us later on and our advisors can give you an idea based on your profile that which area or which direction or which combination could work the best for you. Like, can you look at image management and soft skills, uh, either one of them or combined together? So, okay, great, fantastic. So a lot of C's over here um, who are interested in both image management and soft skills. And yes, it's a great combination because you have the, then the knowledge the right knowledge, the right tools, and the right abilities to work with people on a holistic level. When you work with an individual, you basically look at them from overall, from all sides, from all potential, and bring a positive difference in their life. So having this particular combination is basically which makes you a master of both the fields, which is image consulting and soft skills, which is the master of both. So let's see our professional certification program, which is the which is our two flagship programs also that is combined together can make you the master of both, which is image management and soft skills trainer. So first I'm going to be talking about the image management dual certification, which is for the image management part. The image management dual certification is a comprehensive program and actually world's most holistic and advanced program curriculum that includes subject on the appearance, fashion, styling, an introductory level of soft skills, which combines um, etiquette, protocol, communication skills, vocal, verbal, nonverbal, and power presentation. There are 24 subjects that are covered over 300 lessons of image management, and the duration of this program is for approximately five months, five to six months on an average. So that is our image management program. We also have our second flagship program, which is Advanced Soft Skills Certification Program. Our Advanced Soft Skills Certification Program is a comprehensive program which includes intermediate and advanced curriculum in interpersonal and corporate soft skills. So it does not just have the introductory level of soft skills, it has the intermediate and advanced level of soft skill subject. It covers overall 36 subjects and 400 lessons of soft skills. The duration of this program is over eight months, eight to nine months. If you combine them together, the whole program basically runs for approximately one and a half year or more than a year. Okay, so you get a comprehensive knowledge of both image and soft skills and you learn all the different concepts from right from the foundation level all the way to the advanced level. Let me take you through each one of them one by one. So as I've talked about the different phases of our process to get and become an image consultant and a soft skills trainer, the first stage was all about education and second stage was all about education and the third stage was all about experience, right? So if you look at our program and the way when I say it is very advanced and it is one of the most holistic program in the world, there are three phases that we combine together within the program. Yes, there is education, which is your learning, but we also provide you the experience as well as career mentorship that help you go through stage number one, two, three, as well as help you or guide you, mentor you in phases of four, which is your personal branding phase also. So the program actually is devised in a way that it have, helps you 
uh, go through various stages of your process, which is your education, finding the direction, the education, the experience, as well as all the way to the personal branding phase. And that's what help you in creating or becoming a certified professional. So once you learn the program, you go through various aspects of it and you come out of it as a certified image professional and a soft skills trainer. So let's dive into the learning phase of it. What all will you learn into the learning or the education phase? A program, first program, which is image management dual certification program has overall eight modules in it. Let's see all the eight modules in detail. So we have the image management module, the color analysis module, image for men module, holistic system for personal change, which includes all the grooming, makeup, um, nutrition, health, wellness, all those topics. Image management module covers everything which is related to uh, personality styles, design, principle of design, element of design, styling, fashion, wardrobing, personal shopping, and a lot of different areas. Color analysis modules covers the most advanced color analysis in the country. We teach the not just the basic, but the most advanced color analysis techniques in the country right now. Etiquette and protocol, which covers your business etiquette and social etiquette, as well as dining etiquette. Communication covers the vocal, verbal and nonverbal communication. Finally, power presentation, which is the train the trainer to help you become a successful trainer how to create amazing presentations and training and how to deliver very good and effective trainings also. So that's the power presentation module. And finally, the business smart module, which helps you in identifying and giving you a step-by-step -step business plan on how to launch your successful practice altogether. So we help you create a complete business plan, which will help you identify your identity, your marketing, your social media will give you a plan for how to create your valuation as well as your financial forecasting in the future. So that's your business smart module. And these are the total eight modules that are there in the image management dual certification. Let's have a good look at the advanced soft skill certification program as well. In the advanced soft skill certification, there are total 11 modules that you go through. It starts from the communication module. In the communication module, you learn the basics of communication, which is basic techniques and different elements of communication. You learn about public speaking, presentation skills, proposal writing, business writing, and a lot of different vocal communication and various different elements of communication skills. In leadership, you learn about there are Further subjects where you learn about leadership skills. In behavioral, there are aspects of behavioral skills such as body language, etiquette, interpersonal skills, civility, conflict resolution. Customer service is another module where you understand how to resolve people's query, how to service customers better. In networking, we talk about internal, external networking, managing team, how to become a better manager, how to build motivation in your teams. Uh, in sales, there is a vast module which has multiple other subjects within the sales module. Internal management, again, has multiple other subjects in it. Train the Trainer is also part of the soft skills program where we completely look at Train the Trainer from the soft skills perspective. Okay, Then there's a separate module on personal branding that helps you create your own or establish your own personal brand. And finally, the Business Smart module, which is same as what you learn in the Image Management module but from the soft skills perspective or how to establish your business or how to start your um, successful soft skills practice and start your launch your career successfully. Then. So these are the various module, 11 modules in the soft skills certification, advanced soft skills certification program. So we are talking about eight modules in the image management dual certification and 11 modules in the advanced soft skills certification program. So any questions, if you have till this part, please feel free to write down your questions in the chat. I would be happy to take them up towards the end. And right now, I'm just continuing and going to talk about that. How will you learn? What will be the various aspect of you learning the program? How this program will be delivered? So the course is delivered through online live classes. Like for now, if you can see right now, all of you, I am there talking to you live and taking you through different, different uh, aspects of um, you know of this presentation 
The program will be somewhat similar to this. However, each one of you, if you are in a classroom, will have your cameras on. So we always keep our cameras on so that the um, faculty or your teacher can have a look at you, can actually follow that you are able to follow the concepts or not. There's a lot of interaction. For example, if you can see on the screen, uh, on the left-hand side over here, the uh, students are showing their work also, what they are doing with the colors and the color swatches. So they are actually creating the color swatches live sitting with the faculty. And the faculty is guiding them right then and there that how to fix it. Is this something which is basically going to help them out in uh, figuring out that where they are going wrong and correct them on the spot right then and there. OK, so this is how basically the classes will be delivered live. You can see a demo of it that we do a two uh, setup, two uh, camera setup where you can actually see in the practical classes what we are doing and then also be able to look at the trainer and interact with the faculty live as well. So it's a live online class. You are always on, um, you know, you're not on mute. You are with your cameras on. You are interacting how you would interact in an actual classroom also. So that brings in the effectiveness of the overall um, course, that the way that it is delivered. So that is about the learning phase. Let's dive into the experience phase of this particular program and both the programs, which is image management and the soft skills program. So in the experience phase, we provide you at ISIM, we provide you the real world experience. How do we do that? We provide you a fellowship opportunity, which is a group online training or a seminar. How does this work? In this group online training or seminar, we organize. ISIM is given an opportunity to present a training at a seminar. The seminar and training is organized by Indian School of Image Management. So we are the ones who promote it for you. We are the one who market it for you. And we are the one who bring you the audience. So this becomes in a way your first case study or first client or first workshop that you actually deliver to your audiences. You decide on the topic and develop your own content and presentation. At the back end, back end, you are also mentored by a faculty during this period when you are creating your content, when you're creating your outline. So you're continuously mentored. Your presentations are, uh, you know, vetted by the faculty. They actually make changes and give you feedback before you make the actual presentation. So that's how the back end work happens where the faculty is mentoring you. The student is required to give a mock also to the faculty beforehand, which is the preparation stage. So before you go out live in front of the audience, you give a mock to the faculty. The faculty approves that, yes, you your presentation is fabulous. You have all the areas covered and it is now ready to go and train and you are now ready to go and train other people. So that mock session happens before you actually deliver your presentation live. We market it as an online training or seminar to individual and a minimum participants that we get for you is 30 participants. There have been a couple of webinars which where people, there have been 100, 150 people who have attended these webinars. Each participant who comes and attend this particular webinar is given a co-branded certificate from ISIM and the student who has presented it. So it's your branding and the ISIM branding or your name and ISIM name goes together on the certificate, which also adds credibility to your profile. You can use this work as a case study in your future marketing and your profile building. So if any of the clients or any people who are asking you that show me some work that you have done, or when you are approaching different organizations or institutions or uh, agencies where you are looking for work, you can always showcase this work as a case study that I, you have done this particular work in the past. Here is a case study. Here is a link of it. And that can be submitted and people can really come to know that what value you add in people's life. OK, so this is how the ISIM fellowship work where we give you the real world experience. Now, third stage, as I talked about, was the support and mentorship phase. Let's understand what happens in this particular phase. In this phase, we actually give you the business setup classes, which we also call, and this is part of our entrepreneur development program. What happens in this phase is we give you a 12 hours of group training, which covers 
right from you defining your goal and mission to become an image consultant and a soft skills trainer to finally developing your business idea and business model, writing your business plan, understanding the process to set up the company, defining your logo, developing your products and services, marketing, advertising plan, sales plan, all that put together in a very fast 12 hours, like a boot camp. This is where you get to learn how to start or launch a successful career in image and soft skills industry. So that's what this particular class is all about. Post completion, when you have done, finished your writing your business plan, you also get one-on-one -on -one business coaching sessions where we review your progress, where you we go through your personal um, business plan and see how you are making progress on it, where you can make changes to improve it or further enhance it. So this is how you get proper mentorship and guidance. You also, as a part of our program, you get lifetime support, lifetime career mentorship. So anytime you want to have to, to want to talk to someone where you are looking for some guidance, where you don't know what to do in your career, or you are facing some difficulty with the current client, or you want to expand your business, you want to add more services, more feature, more uh, offerings that you want to provide to your clients, or you want to discuss feedback on your services or any technical question, you all get access, lifetime support from ISIM once you become an alumni of ISIM. So that's your lifetime support and access to others. So if I have to go back to the process that we learned, we learned about the six stages. The first one was the direction that you all already have. We talked about education. So we, I shared with you that how our education is a holistic one. We talked about various modules of image management and soft skills training. Then we talked about the experience phase where we talked about uh, the fellowship, the ISIM fellowship. Finally, we moved to personal branding where we were talking about the mentorship and business smart classes. Moving on to industry recognition, if you have done your stage Z1 to stage 4 successfully, you are someone who gets recognized in the industry on an ongoing basis. You are seen as a leader and you end up inspiring other people. Okay, let me show you some people who have been becoming an inspiration and are already an inspiration. And these are alumni of ISIM. So let me share some insightful journeys or some inspirational journey of a couple of our alumni over here. So this is a success story of uh, Shraddha. Shraddha is a student from the batch of 2019. She's an internationally certified image consultant and also her niche is wedding styling. She offers wedding styling, image makeover. She's also a faculty at ISIM. One of the other beauty about our program is that every student who wants to complete our program, only those who complete our program become eligible to become a faculty at ISIM. So you can, after completion of the program, one of the opportunities that you all can actually avail is to become part of ISIM and become a faculty with ISIM. And this is a part-time opportunity. This does not stop you from running your own practice, just like Shraddha. She's also a faculty with ISIM. She also runs her own company where she is a wedding stylist and provides image makeovers to her clients. Uh, another success story, this is of Shinali. Shivnali is an internationally certified image consultant. She has been recently hired by Qatar Airways as an image and soft skills grooming director. And um, one of the things that was very interesting, she has applied for this particular position in the past also before she has started learning our program. And that time she did not get through. So this time she applied again and she actually submitted our certification because it's internationally accredited certification. And she immediately got the same position. And she is now she moved from India to Qatar recently in the month of May. And she's working as the image and soft skills grooming director in Qatar Airways um, over there in Qatar, Doha. Okay, so that's another success story. Another inspiration that is out there is Shreja. Shreja is a celebrity stylist and image consultant. She is an alumni of ISIM batch of 2018. Um, Shreja offers celebrity styling, styling for ads, movies, photo shoots, custom clothing, custom, uh, uniform designing, image makeover. She has worked with the likes of Akshay Kumar, uh, Rithik Roshan, Dhoni and Guru Randhava and a lot of different celebrities out there. So uh, Shreja is also one of our very well-known names in the 
whole styling and celebrity styling uh, fraternity. You can see some of her pictures with few of the people she has worked with and celebrities she has worked with. And there are many other um, celebrity stylists that are there who are working successfully with a lot of Bollywood clients um, out there. Uh, this is also another success story so far. In fact, not just Varsha Chaturvedi, but in this picture, you can see Amit Chaturvedi is her brother. Amit and Varsha Chaturvedi, both, are for, uh, both of them are our alumni. Um, Varsha is a batch of 2018. Amit is a batch of 2019. And they both are running a um, firm which is called V-Chic Image Consultancy, they, where they offer image consulting, color analysis, dining etiquette, trainings and workshops for schools and colleges. Also recently they started, they expanded their um, service offering and now they are doing extensive trainings for schools and, um, you know, institution in alignment with the national education policy that I just talked about of 2020. So they are really looking into that and they are working with a lot of different schools and institutions, colleges to provide soft skills training in those particular schools all around. Another one, which is um, Nidhi Bharadwaj Sharma, a great inspiration. Nidhi was actually having a very elaborate, extensive, successful career in the retail industry. She was working with the Aditya Birla group and um, Sorry, um, yeah, Aditya Birla Group. And after that, she did her program and she moved to her hometown in Lucknow because she felt that there is an immense need in the tier two cities where students actually and the upcoming workforce really needs this particular training. So in, Nidhi is an inspiration for a lot of schools and universities in UP. She works extensively for college students to provide them soft skills training and campus to corporate programs. Other than that, she also runs her own salon where she provides personal image and soft skills consulting. Also, she has been recently also, um, you know, um, won a pageant uh, contest as well, which um, and became Miss Mrs. UP as well. So uh, she is a great inspiration for a lot of people in the state of Uttar Pradesh and in, uh, extensively in Lucknow. And she's doing a really good work over there. So this is how you eventually, uh, in a couple of years where you continuously keep working and expanding your own career, you actually end up inspiring other people. And these are few of the success story and many more, like here are a few more examples of Falguni. Falguni is someone who also has a lot of experience of 14, 15 years of working in a corporate company. And now she has started her career in image and soft skills. As I said, we have a lot of international students also. So Giordana has also completed our soft skills program. And uh, she now provides a holistic. She was already an image consultant. And she did our, um, uh, did our soft skills program as well as the personal branding program. And now she provides a holistic education to her or holistic services to her clients and the training, the institutions and the uh, companies that she works with. Couple of our alumni or the few of the organizations that our alumni are working with is Amazon, Qatar Airways, Femina, Google, ICICI Bank, Reliance Industry, TCS, Adani Group, and many more to name. So these are all the people who are working in these different companies altogether. And there are many other people who have their successful practice also in image and soft skills industry. So how do you get started? That was all about all the inspiration people who have been inspiring others. Uh, talking about how do you get started, of course, you can uh, go for the program if you are looking at the option number C. Um, what I can do is the first stage is for you all to fill up the online admission form. OK, so if I will ask my team right now to share with you the online admission form with you in the chat, if you have not received it, you will receive it via WhatsApp on your own uh, individual WhatsApp numbers. So the stage number one is to fill up the online admission form. Once you fill up the form, only then it will be reviewed by us. And then your approval on the basis of your profile is given. And you can then decide to make the payment for the uh, upcoming batch. So you decide on which batch you're going to go ahead with. We have multiple options of the batch. My team of program advisors can help you which batches are available and suits best to your requirement and as per your lifestyle. And then on the basis of once you have done your batch selection, you can make the payment for the particular course. 
If you're looking at both options of A and B combined together, that is image management dual certification program and advanced soft skills certification program, it becomes a little bit more economical for you. Um, but if you're looking at just image management dual certification program, the fee is 1,70,000 with GST, it comes to 2,600,000. And advanced soft skills certification program, the fee is 1,50,000 with GST, it comes to 1,77,000. Combined together, if you enroll for both the programs at the beginning, you will, uh, you can actually avail for the program at 3 lakh inclusive of GST. So that becomes really economical. And yes, as you can see, you can pay the tuition fees in two to six monthly installment. And this monthly installment is no without any interest. So two to six monthly installment option is given by the institution, depending upon which program you're going for. If you're going for image consulting program, the, there are four monthly installments that are provided to you interest-free. And if you're going for advanced soft skills program, then you've given six monthly in installments, absolutely interest-free. If that doesn't suit you, or if that is not something that you are able to take care of at that point of time, you can also avail a loan for maximum 24 monthly installment. However, note that yes, there will be a little bit of interest because this is via bank and they would charge a little bit of interest on this particular payment. But six monthly installment, absolutely interest-free is something, two to six is something that ISIM provides you as a payment assistance. So you can avail that option as well, okay? So this is how you can get started and all the information that is there to how to start your career. And yes, I'm open for any questions at this point of time. So feel free to ask them and let me have a look quickly at the chat box also. So, um, and while I'm reading out the old questions, I'm sorry about that. I'm uh, looking at the other questions. You can basically uh, type in your new questions also and ask me anything. So Saurabh asked me, can I pay fees in installment? I believe I have already answered that question that yes, you can pay in two to six months of monthly installment, which is absolutely interest-free. And um, you can go for beyond six months via the loan facility. We are tied up with multiple banks and you can apply through them. Uh, other question that we have, this is from Dr. Sangeeta, how to approach the institution companies and government project and skills training. So Dr. Sangeeta, that's exactly what we cover in the business smart classes. That's your module, last module that you learn, which is post certification, where we teach you various strategies to uh, market your brand market your offerings to different institutions, to different companies. We also give you opportunities where ISIM as an institution keep receiving a lot of opportunities from various companies, organization, as well as government project as well. So anytime a project comes to us, to ISIM, we actually take that project to our alumni and ask them to deliver that particular project. So in a way, you start working with us, you get impaneled with us on all those different projects as well. And slowly and gradually, it opens up more doors for you because once you get started in a particular domain, more and more people come to know about you and they start approaching you directly. So ISN provides that hand holding also in two ways. Number one, we teach you all the strategies that how you can approach. Okay, so if we are not giving you the project, number one stage we can help you out is to give you all the strategies that you can use on how to get into a corporate institution, government through the business smart classes. The option number two that we have is also where we provide a lot of placement assistance. So a lot of job opportunities, a lot of project opportunities comes to us on a regular basis. In fact, we keep posting on our uh, job portal. So we ISIM has an internal job portal also within which all our alumni can apply for the latest job opportunity or the latest project also. So when we post these projects, you can apply for them and you can be one of the trainers who can take up that particular project. So in these two ways, we support you to get to that particular project. So I hope that answer your question, Dr. Sangeeta. And um, meanwhile, Saurabh has asked, will you provide training opportunities? So again, I just answered that question. That yes, we have an extensive job portal. Uh, ISIM has its internal job portal, which is only exclusively available for ISIM alumni. Anyone, all the students who are certified have access to the job portal and can apply for it. The moment that pos position is applied or that project is applied, po posted over there, you can apply. 
and that can be allotted to you. So you can start working on that particular project altogether. So this is how we help you with the training opportunities as well as one-on-one -on -one clients as well. Uh, my pleasure, Dr. Sangeeta and uh, Saurabh. And I also see um, my team has posted the link for the brochure for both image management and advanced soft skills. I would uh, request all of you to open the link right now because what will happen is that the moment the Zoom call will end, um, you will not be able to access this particular um, link altogether. So you can open it in a new tab and keep it safe with you. If at all, if you are not able to access it right now, uh, please get in touch with our team. I will ask uh, if my team can also post the number uh, through which you can also chat with my team on WhatsApp and they'll be happy to share the brochure and other details. Feel free to, if you're really interested to getting started your um, uh, career in this particular field, the number one stage, as I said, is to apply and fill up the admission process so that we can review and also give you proper guidance on how to get started with this. All right. Um, I Neha have another question. Yes, the webinar was helpful, but more than that, we loved you and your presentation. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for taking out time for us, putting in that effort to guide us for free. Much appreciated. Thank you so much, Neha. And um, it's just something that I'm very passionate of having more and more people and, you know, coming in this industry. And uh, it's been over more than a decade where I have seen a lot of people coming in and uh, successfully actually establishing their career with our organization. And get, that gives me immense joy. So, yes, um, my pleasure. And I would love to see you. Uh, any questions that you have, feel free to reach out and would be happy to see you within ISIM or, uh, you know, in many of our other programs. So all the best for that. Um, Yes, Dr. Sangeeta, you can unmute yourself. That would not be a problem. Please feel free to do so. Great. Good evening, Sonia. Thank you so much for this insightful session throughout. And uh, the approaches and uh, the program do you have? Because I have seen either for soft skills or uh, this image consultant, but you have the comprehensive program so that is the amazing part and mm -hmm. that is the reason I was quite interested but on the other side I'm already trainer and I'm a CRT trainer okay so can uh, conduct so many training as well so here my question is that suppose if I am highly interested to work with Google mm -hmm. so what would be the approaches and what are the needs right so how this ISIM can help me out in this case right. Absolutely. I, I think I partially um, answered that question. So first of all, thank you so much, Dr. Sangeeta, for uh, attending and uh, also basically answering all the questions and interacting in the initial quizzes. Um, and yes, the question that you asked that how would you approach a particular company? There are various strategies to it. And of course, today is not the right platform to maybe share a lot of those and talk about a lot of those. But uh, one of the quick ones that I can share is that you can always write to the learning and development department and share your profile because that's one of the easiest way to basically get started with. But as I said, in the business smart classes, which we provide you as a part of our curriculum, um, there are a lot of different strategies that are shared and talked about where you can get in the directly or indirectly in front of these different organizations, which could be, you know, um, Google. So it's not just about approaching through marketing. See, an organization like Google, if we are talking about their world's number one, one of the number one or top notch brands in the world, it takes more than just a marketing or just a strategy to get in. It also involves a lot of our own personal branding adding to our credibility, having the right knowledge, coming through the right sources or maybe the word of mouth, that builds a lot around you. So it also, again, as I gave an example of Qatar Airways that um, somewhat very similar, Shanali, um, um, just in the previous slide, I think I was sharing a profile. So Shanali also comes with an extensive uh, experience in the um, aviation. She actually was a cabin crew for 10 years and had an extensive experience in airline industry. Still, when she applied for the image and soft skills grooming director in Qatar Airways, her profile got rejected twice. 
And when then she actually did our program and it, she was immediately shortlisted. And she came to me, she called me up and she said in exactly this, that this particular certification made all the difference. So it's also a lot about when you're looking at big brands, your experience plus your credibility plus a lot about, you know, that how you are basically positioning yourself, your personal branding, or it's a combination of a lot of different things that, you know, an organization is looking at. And we touch upon all of those in during our business smart classes, we give you that formula of how you can enhance each one of these angle of yours, that where the companies will find you as a suitable, you know, uh, trainers to have on board. So uh, those classes would be something that would be really helpful for you. That's lovely. Thank you so much, Sonia. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Anyone else would like to unmute themselves, please feel free to um, ask. I would be more than happy to answer your question. And um, thank you so much, uh, Neha, for your kind words. That was really lovely. And yes, if you have no further questions, um, you can. My team has already uh, given the contact number also over here. So you can reach out to my team directly via WhatsApp. And they'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Okay. Great. All right. Have a great evening, everyone. If there are no further questions, I would like to end the session today. And um, yeah, all the best to all of you and uh, wish you all a very successful future and uh, wish you the best in everything that you do. Thank you.